you know, it was on 2010 when this happened, and then uh, my green card uh, should be renewed on 2012. Right. And for uh, some reason, I was scared if they, you know, uh, can deport me with, because of that or not. So I haven't uh, renewed my green card. Well, uh, so ba based, be... based, where are you from? I'm from Ethiopia. Ethiopia? Yeah. Okay. All right. So based on what you told me, it sounds like you had a pretty smart criminal defense attorney because you did 179 days in jail and one year or less uh, suspended sentence. So if, yeah. if, you are, if you are found guilty of a crime and you spend less than 180 days in jail and the maximum sentence that you did was a year or less, it is generally considered a petty offense, and unless in Virginia the judge could have the judge could have you know made it two years or three years. I don't know what the what the what the total amount of of um, jail time that you could have got based on what you pled guilty to. I don't know the penal code off the top of my head in Virginia, but it is likely likely considered a petty offense. If it is a petty offense, you're fine. If it is not a petty offense and it wasn't a fraud case, it's a crime of involving moral turpitude, a CIMT, as Belgium Kim likes to call it. Now, that could or could not be deportable. So I think what we need to do, okay, and this would be the, and this is what I do to everybody, okay, you need to go to the court and you need to get the disposition for what you pled guilty to. And then you need to call my office, schedule a consultation, email me the disposition in advance of the consultation. I will look at it. I will look at the Virginia Penal Code, and then I will tell you whether it is a petty offense and you're free to renew your green card or it's a crime involving moral, moral turpitude. And then I will let you know based on how long you've had your green card before you actually were convicted of this crime, whether or not you would be a deportable alien as a result. I would guess if I had to put money on it, I would say you're not deportable, but I can't tell you 100% until I see it. I'm a permanent resident since 1995. Yes. And um, I got an, another a renewal coming up on my green card for next year, January. Yeah. It'll be expired. But um, I got two criminal marijuana convictions. Then you can't renew your, then, you can't, then you can't do it because that's deportable, two marijuana convictions. I will tell yeah. you that the trend is that eventually it won't be deportable, but at this moment, that makes you deportable. Okay. All right, so don't yeah, do anything. Yeah. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200 if you're playing Monopoly. Just hold on, have a consultation with me, okay? Number one, don't plead guilty to anything until you actually speak to an attorney in a private one-on-one -on -one consultation to make sure you understand the consequences of pleading guilty to something. And number two- uh, Immigration number, attorney? Yes, like or, me, uh, an immigration attorney like myself. And number two, you may, if you want to come speak to us, you may also want to speak to our criminal defense team, you know, headed by Paul Hirsch. He's a former district attorney and, and make sure that your criminal case is being handled properly as well. Okay, because maybe you shouldn't be pleading guilty to anything. Maybe this case should be dismissed. I don't know. All right. I, I agree. Well, right. the case is on for the 21st, okay, which so, is this week. So, all right. So before, but I, what I would suggest you do, okay, is when you go to court, you tell the judge, if he says, Ple are you pleading guilty, you have the right, and the judge has to give you the time. In all 50 states, you have the right to say, I would like to speak to an immigration <laughs> attorney to figure out the consequences of me pleading guilty because I have a green card. You have a right to say that, and they have to give you, by constitutional right of the Supreme Court said this, time to go speak to an immigration attorney to figure out the consequences. The case is over, and I've paid a fine and all, but now I'm doing, uh, I'm doing probation. So could I file for citizenship after I've finished my probation? I'm assuming this is a criminal case. Yes, generally what the law says is while you're on probation, you can't prove good moral character impossible under the law that's what the law says right so the day you get off of probation you got to you got to have five years of good moral character you have one day of good moral character so you got to wait five more years from that date before you're filing your citizenship and then we got to figure out you know are you eligible for citizenship are you a deportable alien because of whatever you did that got you on probation so you got you're a way off from from citizenship I got deported after being convicted of CIMT I'm married with a U.S. citizen and we have kids. How could I get back without waiting on the 10-year ban? 
uh, you need waivers, a crime, uh, a crime involving moral turpitude. It's not a bar oh. to getting a green card. You see? I didn't. I you was didn't like, who's CIMT? Right? Yeah. No clue. Yeah, crime <laughs> involving moral, moral turpitude. You need a waiver. You need a 212 waiver and, and a waiver to overcome the crime uh, involving moral turpitude. But there's a way to do it. Um, how hard is it to get a green card for someone who is already here but has been deported more than two times and returned? Really hard because that person is a is basically uh, as soon as you file is admitted to a crime they've been deported twice they're back here now as soon as you file you say i'm here the government says wait a second you're here you were deported twice and you came back again we're gonna put you in jail for like 10 years well let me ask you a question why were you in deportation i have i have a class c felony possession of um of drugs okay so the the process would be you have to vacate that conviction somehow. Because if you can't okay. vacate that conviction, you can't get a green card uh, through possession of drugs, which is why you got cat and not asylum, because you were an aggravated felon. Had you not been an aggravated felon or had it not been a drug offense, I would say we would reopen your case, prove it's a bona fide marriage, ask the judge to terminate your deportation and adjust your status. But because you have a drug offense and you got cat saying that my life's in danger if I go home, so the government didn't deport you, but you can't get a green card, well, the best you're gonna get is the ability to live in America for the rest of your life, have work authorization, but if you ever leave, you would self-deport, unless they change the drug laws, or unless you vacate that conviction. Where did this happen? In Washington? Yes. All right, so you would need to find a local criminal defense attorney to vacate that conviction before you try to do anything with immigration.